Hello, good evening. Good evening, teacher. Hey, yo pensé que era ya de los últimos. Ajá. I thought the same, I thought the same, but uh -huh, nobody has shown up before. I, I was just <laughs> connecting and I didn't see anybody there. That was weird. That was weird. Uh, yeah, okay. man. Aquí es en, en, en la capirucha ha llovido fuerte, teacher. Ah, really? really? Sí, aquí es hasta ¿De? hoy. Uh, today, beginning mm. at uh, 4 p.m. So, so. Ooh. So, probably mm. that's why uh, uh, most of your classmates are not connected because of the rain. Mm. Mm. Tal, no creo, tal vez porque les cuesta llegar un poco pues, por, por el tráfico, uh -huh, porque uh -huh. sí, eso es lo malo que acá cuando, cuando medio llueve se complica el tráfico. ¿verdad? Ah, sí, supongo eh. que sí se pone más, más pesado de lo normal. Y allá no ha llovido en su miel. Ah, fíjese que hasta el momento parece que va a llover, pero no, hasta el momento no. No, nada, pero sí, ayer y antier por la tarde, uf, cayeron dos tormentas súper, súper fuertes. Uh -huh. sí. sí, es que por ratito se complica, ¿verdad? Ajá, es correcto. Así que no, pero es que ahorita, ahorita yo, yo siento que ya, yo vine como a las seis y media a la casa. Ajá. Pero sí, me, eh, bueno, el tráfico estaba bien pesado, bien pesado, yeah. bien complicado. Mm. Ah, sí, yeah. Pero ya, yeah, yo creo que ya van a ir conectando todos. Ya, yeah, I mean, they're going to be connecting. So you see, yeah. Jennifer and Ruth are here. Hi, Jennifer. Hi, Ruth. Ah, pero Jennifer anda en, uh, Jennifer anda en el agua ahorita, mire. Yes. <laughs> ah, check this out. Ruth. Hi, Ruth. Ah. Hey, your baby's nice. Miss Sobrina. Niña. Ah, really? Niña. Hola, hola, niña. <laughs> Ella también está en el primer módulo, así que ah, tiene que aprender a hablar. <laughs> ah, bueno. Ah, pues sí, entonces sí. <laughs> tiene que. <laughs> sí. <laughs> ah, qué bonito. Ver, ya, va a decir, ya va a decir present también, igual que con Diana va. Ajá, que la bebé de Diana, cabal. Sí. Bien, bien, cabal, dice present. Ay, los niños. Son los que más rápido aprenden. They learn very, sí. very fast. Me imagino. Eh, en el caso de yo con mis hijas, eso. Mi, mi hija mayor es, es trilingüe. Ah, ¿really? Uh -huh, really. Ella la puse en la Universidad Nacional temprano, unos 10 años más o menos. Uh -huh. Y aprendió el inglés y, y este año terminó, como en mayo, terminó francés también. Uh -huh. Sí, les, les ayuda bastante. Y mi hija menor de, yes. de 14, ella ya... Ya va casi a la mitad también de inglés. De veras. Sí. Eso de, 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 Yo, yo lo, lo, lo agarro de, de Roma con ella y les digo, un chica, ¿cómo es una cosa? Pa? ¿Cómo cambia la, la vida? Porque este, antes, cuando ella estaba pequeña, papá, ayúdame con esto, papá, ayúdame con esto. Y hoy cuando tengo alguna duda, hey, hija, mira, yo, ¿qué, ¿qué onda aquí? Sí, sí, Pero, sí. Cómo cambia la vida, digo yo, pero, yeah. pero sí, al poner las pequeñas, y es donde más, más, yo creo que es la mejor decisión, ¿verdad? Ponerlos temprano porque absorben rápido. Yes, that's correct. Uh -huh. absorben, absorben mucho más rápido. Sí, sí. Ya, yeah. hmm. ah, ya, more, more of your classmates are getting connected. That's pretty cool. So we got uh, uh, Edward, Carla, Jennifer. Uh, Jennifer, I do you do you still got the the, the same problems? Uh, 
this text in there and see. Qué raro, porque no, 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 I haven't. Qué raro, eh, Jennifer, porque eh, yo no he deshabilitado nada. Y aparece como que si. Ah, ok, ok, do it. Right, log out and then enter again. So probably that's the problem. All right, so let's see. Hi, Jonathan. Good evening. So we got William in here. William, no? teacher. How have you been, Jonathan? How have you been? Very good. Very good. Yeah. Okay, that's very really nice. That's really yeah. cool, man. Okay. Hay alguien que está escribiendo en el grupo de chat, teacher, que, que está viviendo fuerte y si no me puede conectar, pero en la identificación arriba dice solo yo. A ver, ¿quién será? Solo yo. Tal vez, sí, tal vez usted tiene registrado el, el número, ah. no sé. All right, I'm going to check it. I'm going to check. Yeah, because, I mean, there, there are some, some of you that got very weird names in, 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 in the, you know, like the notification panel. But let's, let's check who, who's that person. And then check. Nah, uh, let's see. I'm gonna write down something. Uh, <laughs> there's the only thing I can do for her or for him in this case. But anyways, probably uh, they're gonna solve those problems All right, right after. They are raining and it's like slows down. So let's see. But it remains raining in there. Is it still raining uh, by the place where you live, people? Not on you, uh, Eric. Okay. Uh, how about you, Ever? Is it raining there? No? Ah, okay. I thought it was raining. Okay. Jennifer, do you solve the problem? That is weird. So let me see. Okay, just give me a second. I'm loading the attendance list. So we can continue with the things that we got for tonight. So let's see. Just give me a second. Okay, so we're going to be talking about this thing. Let's eliminate. I don't know why or, uh, the internet becomes like very slow and it is not raining. So let's see what happens in here. Okay, let's start with the attendance list. We are here, say present, because it's like kind of late and we need to start with with the topic that we have for tonight. So let's see uh, the other ones probably are coming a little bit later. So we got Anna Claribel is not here. Anna Maria, it is not here. Carlos Ademir, hmm, it, right? We see Pudo, uh, Jennifer? Teacher, lo escucho a lo lejos, no sé, le subo el cel, ya probé con dos ojitos. No sé qué pasa. Yo voy a activar a esto. Pero a lo lejos lo escucho. Eh, Hasta me ¿verdad? dice ya. Yo... Ya, por ahí. ¿En serio? Creo. Bueno, eh, yo sí le escuchaba a lo lejos a usted. All right. No sé, los demás si le estaban escuchando igual, como a lo lejos. I think it was your audio. Creo que... Creo que quizá era su audio, uh, Jennifer. Sí. ¿Cómo me escucha hoy? Ah, mucho mejor. Fuerte y claro. 
¿Y yo? Ah, ya. Ahora yo también lo escucho bien. Ah, sí. ya sé. Ah, ok, perfecto. There you go. Ah, sometimes, uh, I mean, the, the, the platform has some, some issues. A veces Zoom tiene algunos pequeños ahí detallitos que nos hacen ahí you en know, like, have those, those problems. But let's continue. Eric Guillermo. Present teacher. Ok, Ever de Jesús. Present teacher. Ok, let's go. Uh, Fátima Alejandra. She has not connected yet. Let's see, Hilmar Cruz. Ha, ahora Hilmar, sí. Yeah, he lost track. Jonathan Alexander. Present. Ok, Jorge Elvir. Probably he's going to get connected later. Carla Benacir. Present teacher. Ok, perfect. Margot Hernández. Ok, he's not here. Maritza Alcira. Okay, it is not there. Natalie Hello. Vanessa. Ah, hi Jorge. Good evening. Hello. I had just uh, mentioned you in the attendance list. Okay, present. <laughs> she came on time. Okay. <laughs> Good. Man. Romeo Alexis. No, it's not here. Rosa del Carmen, ella es Rosa. Ay, got a lot of people that are missing. Ruth, Joana. Present teacher. No, nah, ok, thank you. Sara Carolina, she's not connected yet. Stephanie Lisset. Uh, neither Stephanie. Vanessa Odette. Ever right, probably she's, she's on the way home. William Alberto. Present, present. Ah, okay. Thank you, William. All right, there you go. Okay, uh, let's check. Roxana Yesenia. Okay, it is not here. Nubia Zulema. Hey, neither Nubia. That's clear. She's not here. Jennifer Noemi. Present. No, okay, good. And we got the last person, Diana Gabriela, which is not here. Hey, that's, that's, that's weird. Probably it's because, as you said, that it was raining kind of hard in, in San Salvador area. Probably that's why most of most of your classmates are not connected. But let's see. Probably uh, in a couple of minutes they are going to get connected. Okay. So what are we gonna do tonight? Tonight we got a very very uh, interesting topic. Probably this topic we haven't uh, discussed it before. So this is going to be the first day in which we are going to, to, to talk about it, okay? So this is the video conference number eight. And tonight's topic, it's going to be how to use may and might, okay? These two uh, words are considered, listen up, are considered uh, auxiliary verbs. They are auxiliary verbs, and basically they are like in the same way recognized as modal verbs, or in Spanish it's like verbos modales. Why? Because they belong to the same category as can, could, will, and must, the ones that we have been practicing in the past. So these ones are likely similar to them. In what aspect? They got the same kind of use, okay? So they are considered like special verbs too, okay? So let's see what is the structure, okay? How to ask a couple of questions and of Excuse course, me. examples. Excuse me, teacher. Hi, Helmer. Uh, nice. Excuse me. <laughs> 
Ay, se perdió Flau Helmar. Sí, 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 no, no, no. ¿Cómo es la casa? Ok, en aquí estoy. Ok, but the good thing is that you're here connected. Right? That's pretty cool, man. Thank you. So, welcome to the class. So, let's see. Fatima, are you there? I mean, uh, Fatima has, connect, has been connected. I actually uh, there. Yes, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. Ah, okay. Cool. Okay, let's continue this. What are you going to do? Let's start off with the class agenda. And the first, the first thing that we do, like in the previous classes, the first thing that we're going to do, it's a short review from the previous topic that we were discussing last class. Okay, now, what do we remember from last class, people? What was the topic that we were discussing last class? How do you scan and code? Ah, okay, how do you scan and code? Okay, and when do we use can? Or what do we use can for? Uh, abilities. Uh huh. What else? Okay. Abilities. In Quantas personas viven en tu casa? What else? The can abilities. Ajá. Uh -huh. Y uh, possibilities? No, it was for. Possibilities. Yeah. Okay. Is another one. Remember that both means basically the same. What is the difference? That can is a simple present, cool is a simple past, right? It's the past form of can. What is the difference? In some cases, cool is, is, is like a little bit more formal than can, okay? But when we show a possibility about something or when we show an ability about something, let's talk a little bit about abilities, okay? Can you give me one of you an example using can to show an ability? Can I can't again? play soccer. Repeat again, Carla. I I can play soccer. Ah, okay, very good. That is one ability, right? Because it requires to run, it requires to have abilities, right? To manage the ball, right? So I can play soccer, right? That's one of them. There you go. Thank you, Carla. Another ability that you might have, people, besides Carla. Another extra example. I can uh, cook the dinner. No, okay. Um, okay, like cooking is, is one ability that not everybody has, right? Okay, good. Thank you, Eric. Yo tampoco, pero un ejemplo. <laughs> okay, okay. There you go. So let's see, Jorge, how about you? Uh, maybe I can fly the drones. I can fly what? Drone. Ah, okay, good. Yeah, I mean, not everybody can do that, right? Okay, you can fly a drone. Very good. So let's see who else can give me an example. Uh, mm -mm -mm. William, can you give me an example about an ability that you have? Okay. Um, I can fix the car. Nah, okay. You can fix cars. Okay, that is an ability that not everybody can do it, right? Okay, very good, William. There you go. Uh, Vanessa, are you at home already or are you driving? I am driving, teacher. Oh, okay. All right. So, drive carefully. Thank you. No, okay, good. Jennifer, are you there? Jennifer is gonna give me an, an extra example. <laughs> yes, yes, I'm here. And I can drag. I can draw. What? Draw. Ah, okay. Uh -huh. Draw. I can draw. Okay, that is an ability that not everybody has it, right? 
Okay, good. That's pretty nice. So those are like related to abilities. Now, how to make polite permissions or requests using can. Example, can you, listen up, can you please turn on your cameras? That is a formal, formal what? A formal and polite request, okay, using can. Also, I can do the same question using could. Could you be so kind and turn on your cameras? Do they mean the same? Yes, they mean the same. Okay, they got the same structure. What it changes in there is just it's just the, the verb. Okay, and what, what is the verb? Ah, which we move can and put could, right? And then that's it. We just change the verb. And remember, that is not the main verb. It's just an auxiliary verb, okay? That's what it, uh, what is like the main function of it, okay? That is the main function. Okay, so let's move on with uh, the things that we are going to be talking tonight. Okay, we're gonna start with some questions related to some uh, products because today we're gonna focus mostly in asking questions about products and all those stuff. Right after that, we're gonna start with the uses of may and might, how to use them. Even though may and might, they means basically the same. They are used for the same reason. Right after that, we're gonna give some examples. You're gonna give me some examples to see if you understand this part. We're gonna start up with some exercises in the manual, of course. And at the end, we're gonna end up the class with you know the checking of the exercises okay that we're gonna be doing uh, in the in the manual okay so this is pretty much what we have for tonight so let's start with the explanation of some things let's start with this a question to discuss uh and uh, i would like let me check Carla to help me out reading the first question. Carla, let, help me out reading, please. Okay, teacher. Who was the last experience of a customer purchase? Uh huh. Satisf satisfying. Satisfying. Uh, satisfying or dissatisfying. Dissatisfying. Why? Nah, okay, good. Listen up. Since you are not in sales, let's change the real meaning of this question. And let's, and let's say, how was the last experience of a customer of you being a customer, you know, like when, when you purchase something? For example, Jorge, what was the last product that you bought in a store? What was the last product that you bought? The last product that you bought in a store. What fue el um, último producto que usted compró en una tienda? <laughs> Un drone. <laughs> a drone? <laughs> really? Yes. Yes. Ah, okay. Okay. And how was it? Uh -huh. And you maybe talk the satisfaction or dissatisfaction? Aha, and, and uh, aha, I was about to say that. Okay. How was the, the I mean, the, the, the experience, how was it? Satisfying or in, dissatisfying? Satisfies, it's very nice. Really? Yes, the, and the brown DJ, DJI, DJI, DJI. Aha, aha. It's good, it's strong. Ah, so you're happy with your purchase. You didn't yes. have, you haven't had any problem. No, maybe me and uh, practice the fly. <laughs> and ah, yeah, the, you, and gotta, the you gotta practice. Ah, uh, okay. You had a gotta practice how to go up, oh, go up, and go up, land, go down. Yeah, land. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> maybe it's not. It's not the problem. My problem is the calculating the distance and uh -huh. the and the tree. <laughs> I might hit the tree. <laughs> yes. Okay. Okay. All right. That's pretty cool. 
I think a drone might be pretty, pretty, pretty cool to, 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 to fly. Yeah, my, my idea is, is, is recording the site and the I am visit. Uh -huh. because, because I may be downloading, uh, un, no, unload it, uh -huh. subir. Uh -huh. Upload it. Okay, the video on the YouTube, maybe, I don't know. Mm, well, okay, that's pretty cool. Mm -hmm. That's yeah. pretty nice. Okay, good. So your experience was really, really satisfying. Okay, yes, yes. very good. Uh, Fatima, how about you? What was the last product that you buy or bought in this case in a store? Mm. Um, a door, a una door? puerta. Ah, okay. Uh -huh. De interior, <ríe> de que necesitaba cambiarla de mi cuarto, entonces compré mm. una. Is satisfied, sí. Satisfying. Yes. Yes. Uh, satisfying, really? No, okay. You didn't have any problem uh, on buying it? No. Eh, de hecho, incluía instalación. No. Yeah. See? That's pretty nice then. Yeah. Was, the installation was included. Ah, nice. Okay. There you mm -hmm. go. So pretty cool, Fatima. Good. Now, uh, 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 let's see who else. Gilmore, how about you? What was the last product that you bought? Okay, uh, that, that you that you bought it in a store. And how was it? Casi lo mismo que Jorge. Like, similar to that? Really? <laughs> yes. Uh, sparks, sparks for drum. Ajá. Ya que sufrió una caída. <laughs> It's a super, wow. super nice. <laughs> really? Yes. Um, you, you practice now fly the drum? Uh, my children. Ah. Yes, okay. Nice. It's a new experience. <laughs> nah, okay. Well, the cosa. Yeah. 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 That's pretty cool. So you haven't had any any bad experience since you have uh, since you bought the, the, the product? Uh, no problem. You uh, haven't had any problem? No? Okay. Muchas gracias. Okay. Was it expensive or kind of cheap? Was it expensive? The product or it was cheap? It was cheap. Kind of expensive? Sí, pero no, 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 no comprende eso. Que es what cheap. Expensive? No le sé palabra. Que si era, que si era, si estaba algo carito o estaba barato. Ah, que eh, expensive. Kind of expensive? No. Yes. Uh, okay. Uh, one. Dogs, maybe it's a maybe it's a toy for big a boy. A thousand. <laughs> sí, one thousand. Yes, it's expensive. Wow. It's a gift, very very expensive. Pequeño con huevos, ni modo, la compramos. Okay. And uh, and uh, there is a there is a place uh, I saw on a on a page that they sell the uh, drones and it, it says there I don't know what kind of drone is that but it, it cost like seventy five dollars or something like that I think those ones are like just for kids to play or something like that But of course, right? They probably the camera that they bring the, the, don't, the, the doesn't have like enough resolution and all those things. Resolution uh -huh. is 
the video quality and everything, right? Mm. One might be different. Up to same, yeah. I think. Think so. Oh, okay. that's it. So then that's a really, really good camera. That's yes, pretty cool, man. Yeah. It's the DJI. Mm. Mavericks. Another yeah. level, right? <laughs> okay, good. That's been another level. There you go. So no, you can... No, 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 no. Yeah. <laughs> so you can <laughs> land Eric's house and, and drop off a paper there. It's like, huh, I got you, Eric. <laughs> Okay, good, Hilmar. Okay, Eric, what was the last thing or the last product that you bought, that you buy in this case, in a store? And how was your experience? Satisfying or dissatisfying? Satisfying. Uh -huh. um, um, por, estar, por estar chateando, ya ves lo que pasa. Uh -huh. Es que le estaba escribiendo a Nubia, mandándole aparte lo de... Lo del link para ver si se puede conectar. I, I already said la, it. La más usada de todas. Yeah. <laughs> no, I mean, en serio. I, I said it already. Uh -huh. I, I'm buying a pair of shoes. Ah, you bought um, a pair of shoes? Uh-huh. I'm satisfied. You're satisfied? Uh, ah, yes, okay. uh, good quality and good price. Nah. Nada que quedarme. <laughs> nah, okay, all right. There you go. Okay, good. Ah, let's see. Carla, how about you? Uh, I. Sorry, sorry. Your experience was I... satisfying? Uh -huh. Yes, and the last time, uh, Boink. Mm, I buy um, gummies. You bought what? Gummies. A comic? Yes. Ah, okay. About what? What was the comic about? No teacher, gummies. Gummies? Uh, yes. Uh, <laughs> I misunderstood what you said. Ah, ya, ya, le, ya le iba a preguntar qué cómics compró. I mean, that, that's what I asked. Ajá, what kind of comic? Marvel o DC le iba a preguntar. <laughs> ah, come on, but buying a, a gummies? Oh, okay, all right, all right. Yes, teacher. Okay. At you least were they... The gummies. Ah, okay. At least they were delicious. Uh -huh. Okay, <laughs> nice. All right, okay, Carla. Ah, Jennifer, how about you? Um, the last thing that I bought were shoes. Uh huh. Do you still like the shoes? It, do, do you still like the shoes you bought? They didn't have my size, uh, but I. Me los mandaron a traer a otra tienda. Ah, so they sent. To, I mean, oh, they request the product to another store. Yes, it was complicated, but satisfying. Me vendieron. Es lo importante. Ah, okay. Ah, they, they, they sell the product to you. Okay. Yeah. But the question is, Jennifer, do you still like the shoes that you bought? Mm, ¿Cuál es mi estilo? No. Do you still like the shoes that you bought? I don't understand you. Okay, all right, all right. ¿Todavía le gustan los zapatos que compró? Yes. <laughs> Me van a durar unos cuatro años. <laughs> ah, okay. I'm, I'm, so, I'm asking that because I know uh, uh, some women, when they buy shoes or when they buy clothes, that they, I mean, when they buy that, that those type of things, they like it. But when they use it one time or two times, they say like, uh -huh, I don't like it anymore. So they just put it in there in the closet, put it in there in the in the shoes shelves, and they don't use it anymore. That's I'm what the, I was saying. I'm, I'm the except, exception. 
I am. Sure. You're an exception. I, yes. I'm a, a man. <laughs> Soy un hombre porque yo ocupo tenis para todo. <laughs> really? For everything? Even when, you're, when you wear a dress? Uh, sí, me gustan también con, con, con vestidos, los tenis. Uh, uh, los converse, okay. por ejemplo. Uh, Ah, ah, ok, ok. Uh -huh. yeah, I mean, yeah. They look pretty cool. Yeah. That's right. Ah, you see? Yeah, I mean, that, she, she's different. She's completely <laughs> different. She's, she's unique. <laughs> yeah, unique. There you go. Very good, Jennifer. Uh, uh, let's see. Let's change. William, what was the last product that you, that you bought, William, in a, in a store? And your experience, how was it? Satisfying or dissatisfying? Uh, uh, this is fine, fine because I buy a pizza, uh -huh. but this, this pizza is artesanal, uh -huh. artesanal pizza uh -huh. in, in, in my neighborhood. Uh -huh. But these pizza are burning and very, very small it being. Uh -huh. oh. mm -hmm. And and was it was it expensive? No, no, it's it's cheap, but but the the this are is was was the pizza are uh, is very small. Ah, the size of the things that was like kind of a small. Ah. No, no dejaron crecer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got you. Pero no quería quedar mal de la paga tampoco. Que, uh -huh, que yeah, perdiera el, el, uh -huh. Exactly. That's what happened. Sometimes when, 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 when you got through a situation like that, I mean, you pay because, I mean, you got to pay, but you never uh, buy again to that place because uh, I mean yeah I mean the experience is not that good so so in this case you William were very dissatisfied with the product right yeah I mean and I will understand you I mean I wouldn't buy again if the pizza is too small I wouldn't do it all right Hmm. Hi, Nubia. Finally, you got connected. Hi, she's connected to the audio. Okay, good. Jonathan, what was the last time that you bought a product and um, what was it? And were you satisfied or dissatisfied with the product? Let me go now. What was the last product that you bought? That, and that, I mean, uh -huh, that you bought in a store? And how uh, was it the experience? Are you satisfied or dissatisfied? The, the, the last bad product is chocolate. Is chocolate? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> Satisfying. Uh -huh. Was it was it good? Very was good. It, ah, okay. And uh, it was expensive or it was cheap, Jonathan? Uh, expensive it means that costs a lot of money. Cheap is like you know, like low price. No, low price. No, okay. It was cheap then. Okay. There you go. Okay. Nice, Jonathan. Huh. How about you, Ruth? I'm going to end up with you. What was the last, the, the, the last product that you buy in a store? In English. Perdón. En español, teacher, perdón. What? I understand. Ah, ¿cuál fue el no último 
¿Cuál fue el último producto que usted compró en, 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 en una tienda? ¿Y su experiencia fue satisfactoria o, o no? Um, puede ser comida. Ya, yeah, I mean, the last product that you, the, 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 that you did, that you bought. Um, pizza Hub. Ah, you bought, you bought pizza? Uh -huh, pizza Hut and experience is um, very good. Ah, really? Um, <laughs> yeah, okay, so the experience was really, really good. Wow. So you got, you got a big pizza or a small pizza? Um, el, el big. The big one? No, okay, that's pretty nice. Big pizza. That's pretty nice. I do really comida, like Comida es lo único que compro en línea. <laughs> really? That's the only thing? Sí, de ahí todo lo demás hay que ir personalmente. Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah, I mean, it's, it's better. It's better. <laughs> sí. It's better. Okay, all right, very good. But... Hi, Novia. Good evening. Finally, you're connected. Like 45 minutes later. <laughs> de que teacher, no sé, no me, no me he podido conectar con la compu, estoy desde el teléfono. Ah, that's, that's weird. That's weird. Ya la recetí, no sé qué le. Yes. Pero aquí estoy. Okay, but that's, that's the good part that you're here. There you go. Okay, good. Yes. All right. Vanessa, do you get home already or are you still driving? Okay, I think she's not there. Okay, so let's continue, people. Okay, let's start up with the uses of may and might. But let's see a general meaning, all right, for both of them. Okay, what is may and might? So let's see a little bit about what is the meaning of each one of them. Okay, and for that, I want Ever to help me on reading this short definition. Okay. Both may and might can be used oh. in requests and in expression of possibility for the present and future. Nah, okay. Thank you, Ever. Bob, listen up. May and might can be used in requests Okay, to provide a request of something, okay, usados, pueden ser usados como solicitud, okay, para hacer una petición. And it says in expressions of possibility. So what does it mean? They can express possibility, okay, as can. It says for the present and future. What does it mean? We can talk about uh, may and might, when we refer to future actions also. Uh, and of course, the uses of simple present. So in both senses, uh, they can be used in simple present and future. So let's see some examples, okay? Let's see some of examples. Hilmar, help me out reading the first example. Elmar, are you there? All right, I think he's busy. Uh, uh, uh. Fatima, help me out reading the example. The weather may be better tomorrow. Nah, okay, very good. The weather may be better tomorrow. What are we expressing in there? We are expressing a possibility in the future. Why in the future? Because we have in there the time expression tomorrow, okay? So literally in Spanish, what it would be? How would you translate this example sentence? It says, the weather may be better tomorrow. So in Spanish it would be like, el clima, okay? Puede estar mejor mañana, o podrá estar mejor mañana. 
So you see, what are we expressing in that case? We are expressing a possibility about something in the future. We got another example. Jennifer, let's help me out, please. It's cloudy. It's my rain in the afternoon. Ah, okay, very good. So let's see, it's cloudy. And my rain in the afternoon, okay? Está nublado. Podría llover en la tarde. So you see, what are we expressing there? You're expressing a possibility. Okay, so we're using both of them in context. How come? We got may and might. No, yeah. Hi, teacher. Okay. Espérame, espérame. Espérame, Ya. Yeah, it remains the same, Nubia. ¿Quién me, ¿Quién me sigue con la guitarra, pues? <laughs> like a big bug. Like ya, yeah, Nubia, you have to look out yeah, on your cell phone. Yeah, baby, yeah, baby, yeah, baby. Tum, 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 tum. Ah, avienta el teléfono por el patio, Nubia. <laughs> What's she doing, Nuria? DJ Nuria. So good. No, and, and, and ah, no, she disconnected the phone. Did you disconnect the phone? Ah, okay. Yeah, I mean, she's, she, okay. She's even she se había quedado encendido el teléfono, pero ya, ya resolví. Ah, okay. Good. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I was creating an, an echo. And that's not, that, 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 not. Okay. Let's continue. It says, remember, it's cloudy. It might rain in the afternoon. So may and might, they are likely the same. Okay. Why? Because we can use them in the same context and it is possible, right? Using may and might. And we don't have any problem. What is the difference? Might is, mo is mostly considered, right? Like the simple present version. Might is considered the simple past version of may, okay? They are considered, might is considered the simple past version of may. Why? Because may in this case is like puedo, the poder, okay? Like when you do something. And might is like podría, okay? That's literally the translation. That's why they are considered like might as a simple past version of may all right so let's continue with the next with some extra uh uses that we have of both of them let's see we got an extra example uh jonathan help me out reading this example please my student may now the sound record sound soon Ah, uh, okay. There you go. What are we expressing in that case? ¿Qué estamos expresando en esta oración? Where it says, my students may know the exam results soon. Nah, we are expressing... Los estudiantes a... saben los resultados del examen. Podrán o pueden saber los resultados del examen pronto. No. There you go. So what are we expressing in that case? We are expressing a possibility. A possibility of what? Of the exam results, okay? That's the possibility, okay? That they are expressing in that case. That we, uh, in that case, I'm gonna show the results as a teacher and the students have to know the, the, the results, okay? Okay, let's continue. Ah, let me see a clear example. Let's see, Fatima is sneezing. She's like, ah. so what does it mean? She may be sick. So what is that? A possibility, okay, about something, okay? That is a possibility. There you go. So let's continue. 
We got some extra uses. Yeah, we got this one. Check this out. May. All right. May, it says, is used, listen up, to talk or in this case to ask permission in a more formal way than can. ¿Qué significa eso? Que may en comparación a otros verbos modales o auxiliares para pedir o solicitar permiso, en este caso a comparación de can, may es un tanto más formal. Ok. It's a little bit more formal. And we got some series of examples in here. How to ask permission using may? Check this out. May I have a drink, please? And the model of answer is going to be, yes, of course. Okay. Can I use the, the auxiliary verb can in that sentence or in that question? Yes, you can. The only difference is that can is more formal. Okay. How come? Can I have a drink, please? It's likely the similar thing, but the only difference is that may is more formal. And we can include may, uh, might too. Might I have a drink, please? So what does it mean? It means that in this case, may and might can be more formal than the auxiliary verb can, the one that we were practicing, of course, last class. So then we got another example in there. Uh, let's see, Eric, help me out reading the next example question. May I use your ruler? I lost mine. Aha. Uh -huh. Okay. And the answer says, okay, here you have. And it's like, ah, está bien, aquí tiene. So you see, in that case, what are we doing with that type of question? We are asking a permission for something. All right. Another example in context. Just give me a second. Another example in context. Let's suppose everybody, everybody from here is in a party. Okay. We are in a party. Okay. And Jorge wants to dance. Okay. He wants to dance. And he goes and get close to, to whom? And he get close to Fatima. For example, all right, and he asked Fatima, may I dance with you? Listen up, may I dance with you? It's like, podemos bailar, okay, o puedo bailar contigo? So you see, what is Oscar, uh, in this case, Jorge doing? In this case, what Jorge is doing is to ask for permission about something in a very formal way. That's what it is, okay? Can Jorge use any other auxiliary verb? Yeah, he can use can. But remember, can in this case or in this aspect is less formal, okay? It's less formal than may and might. So in that case, Jorge can use might and can use may and both ways are correct. All right, Jorge? Now, are we understanding this part? Hasta ahora acá, vamos comprendiendo cómo funciona. At least in how to ask formal permissions. Okay, what can be any extra permission that you might ask? ¿Qué otras formas de solicitar permiso ustedes tienen? ¿O cuál es la forma de solicitar permiso en algo que ustedes utilizan? Permissions of a what? Let's do one example. Let's do one example question. When we ask permission, when we ask for permission about something, let's use may. How would you do it? How would you ask permission using may or might? But let's start with may. All right, let's create an example. Okay, and right after the example, let's read it. Okay, when you have the example, just let me know. Let's do one example. Remember using may. Okay, I'm gonna write in here. Teacher. My example, uh-huh. Um, 
in my case, for example, in the using may in the one situation in the uh, certificate, the first A E D, primero auxilios. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Uh, in the in the certification, say the other people and the you to, you say uh, may may have to touch and the person. Uh, no, I don't know. Como si me da permiso de tocarlo, porque ah. casi siempre tienes que decirle eso. Me da permiso de tocarlo. Si él te dice que no, no puedes tocarlo, pues en los primeros auxilios. Really? Sí. I mean, even if the if the person is getting drowned, it's like, oh, may I, may I? <laughs> yes. May you give me the permission to touch you? Like, <laughs> yes. I, to it, it, I I say my name is George. Uh, may you have maybe may have touched to you? The the person say really? no, and to you. Okay, in this in this moment, you call the nine one one. Okay. Aunque uno sepa dar los primeros auxilios por ley ahora no puedes tocarlo. Tienes que pedirle permiso. Si él te dice con que él mueva la cabeza en un signo de sí, ya tienes tu autorización para poder ejecutar los primeros auxilios. Oh, I didn't I didn't know that. It's new. <laughs> yes, but this is one one extra one example. Yeah, I mean that's, that's an may. example exactly. Using uh -huh, using may appropriately, uh -huh, in a very formal way. Uh -huh. May I coach you? All right, use use to assist the person. No, okay. <laughs> Jesus Christ, that's clear. But anyways, that's that's pretty cool to know, Okay. okay. There you go. Any other one that has finished the example? May I go to the party? Ah, okay, good. Your your children can say that to you, right, Nubia? Hey, mom, may I go to the party? You say, no. <laughs> or you might say, yes, all right? It, it's up to you, depending on what kind of party is that. Okay. That's nice, Nubia. Okay, any other one that have uh, uh, the example? Me, teacher. Can I visit this afternoon? Repeat it again, Jennifer. Can I visit this afternoon? Mm, can I visit uh, to whom, Jennifer? Yes. It, it might be, may I visit you this afternoon? Okay. It's like, ¿Puedo visitarte esta tarde? May I visit you this afternoon? Is that Jennifer? May I? Mm -hmm. May I visit this afternoon? M visit mm -hmm. you. Visit you. Uh -huh. You need a, a, an object. Okay. Yes, you can. <laughs> no, or yes, you may. <laughs> okay, good. There you go. Eric? Okay, teacher. May you charge your drink with me? May you? Chair. Ch chair. De compartir. Ch chare. Ah, chair. 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 Your drink with me? Ah, okay. Very good. That's a, a good way. Okay. To ask for permission very formally, right? There you go. Ever? Okay. Uh... May you, may you give me a phone call when you arrive at home? Nah, okay, there you go. Or in a different context, may you call me when you get home? It's the same, okay. but in different words. Okay, very good. That's a way to ask for permission about something. Good. Ah, okay, Hilma. Mm -hmm. Let's go. Uh, may, may I use uh, the bathroom, please? May I use? 
the bathroom. Ah, okay. That's a very, very formal request. Okay, in this case, the, uh, to go to the bathroom, the right? Usually, the visit. Yeah, <laughs> man, when you got the visit, yeah, that's the first thing that they say. Hey, may I use your bathroom, please? It's like, nah, okay, you can use it. Ah, but it, it, the door doesn't get off, you know, like doesn't get locked down. So you have to like push the door. <laughs> okay, Hilmar, good. In my papel, but, yeah. No paper. You know what would be the worst thing? Dun, dun, dun. No water. <laughs> water. <laughs> okay. It's the problem. Let's it's leave it like problem. that. Let's leave it like that. Uh -huh. <laughs> With no water and you're done. Oof. A easy stage. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Good. Uh, let's see who's next. Oh, who wants to be the next? Okay, if you are not chosen, I'm gonna choose you. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Natalie, are you there? Hola, teacher. Hi, Natalie. Hi, teacher. Me voy conectando, teacher. <laughs> really? Sí, hace un ratito. Mm -hmm. Okay, Natalie. So let's see. William, do you have your example? <clears throat> okay. Uh, may you, may I you help when they open, open the door? Ah, okay, in that case. May you help me to open the door? Is that what you mean? Yes. Like, puedes ayudarme a abrir la puerta? Nah. Okay. Very good, William. That's a good way of. Uh, mm -hmm. Okay. Good. Like to ask for 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 that. Okay. For to ask for something. Vanessa. We have your example, Vanessa. Um. May I buy my lunch? May I buy my lunch? Hmm? Okay, good. Okay. I will say, huh, may you buy my lunch? That will be like a very nice. Okay, Vanessa, good. And uh, Carla, get an example, Carla. May I come in your car? May I come? May I, may I come in your car? What do you mean by come, Carla? May I come? It's like, podría, podría entrar en tu carro? Uh, in that case, ah, uh, may I go into your car? Um, or may I get into the may car? May I get, okay. Yes. May I get into the car? Okay, good. Okay. That's a really good. All right, Carla, thank you. So let's see who got the last one who was here. Ruth, do you have your example? Not generally. Mm, why not, Ruth? Pero pasé la lista y eso lo hago. Eso lo no hice. Ajá, ajá. Ya mira, lo que usted pasa la lista, yo lo hago. Okay, okay. I'm about to pass the attendance list. Okay, and then we can continue with this. Just give me a second. Just give me a second so we can move on. But before moving on, I'm gonna start sharing a little bit and I'm gonna pass the attendance list then. Yeah, I mean, 904, it is fine. Okay, let's see where is, who is connected. Anna Claribel, I mean, she's not in here. Ana Maria, neither. Carlos Ademir, it is not here. Eric Guillermo. Present. Okay, cool. Uh, Fatima Alejandra. Present. Good. Ever de Jesus. Present teacher. 
Okay, nice. Hilmar Cruz. Present. No, okay, nice. Jonathan Alexander. Uh, Jonathan told me that he's going to be busy or he's busy. Jorge Elvir. Present. No, okay, good. Carla Benacer. Present. Okay, there you go. And then we got Margot Hernandez, which is just not here. Maritza Alcira, uh, she told me that she's not going to be connected. Natalie Vanessa. Present. Okay, good. Romeo Alexis. It is not here. Rosa del Carmen. Okay, no, here. Ruth Joanna. Present teacher. Ah, okay, good. Sara Carolina. Present teacher. Ah, okay. Hi, Sara. There you go. Uh, Stephanie Lisette. Present. Ah, okay, good. Vanessa Odette. Present. Okay, good. William Alberto. Okay, present. Okay, good. Roxana Yesenia, not here. Nubia Sulema. Present teacher. Okay, good. Jennifer Noemi. Present. Okay, nice. Diana Gabriela. Present. Yeah, okay. <laughs> I Present, got that. Teacher. Okay, okay. <laughs> we got double present in there. <laughs> okay. Good. <laughs> <laughs> good, good. Ah, so she's she's participating more than her mother, huh? Uh -huh, Aha, yeah, no. I don't know. It's, I don't know. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Let's continue. Let's continue this, with this one, right? <laughs> okay. Oh man, she's funny. Okay, good. Ruth, do you have the example? May I have is a card? May I have? May I have is a card? May I have a car? Puedo tener un carro. Aha, may I have a car? Ah, yes. Okay. Ah, and and what kind of car it would be? Like a toy, like the one the 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 the, the Rayo McQueen or the big one. <laughs> bumblebee uh, like the like the bumble ah okay good very cool there you go okay Ruth, thank you uh, let's see let's see the last pair of participation so we got diana you had the example diana teacher me acabo de conectar pero no sé si lo hice bien lo ya hice una pero uh -huh, lo voy a okay. decir all right do it May I take that book? Yes, it is correct. May I take that book? Okay, you're requesting something. Very good, Diana. There you go. And the last Excuse one. Excuse me, teacher. Huh? Excuse me, teacher. Uh, what is different uh, uh, between cold and May? Cold and May? Huh? Cold is, is, is the same way as can, all right, or in this case as may, to represent a possibility or permission. What is the difference? The difference is that may tend to be more formal than could, all right? Is representing more formality than could, may, all right? Uh -huh. may, may is mostly poder. When I'm doing something, I may do something. Ah, yo puedo hacer algo, right? That represents pain. But cool is like podría. Okay? Podría. That is cool. Si quiero no quiero. Exactly, right? That In yeah. that case, cool is like representing like an, kind of an informal way to say something or to request something. Okay? Oh, okay. Because okay. you can say, could I go to the party? 
all right? Or may I go to the party? But that difference, the difference in that case is like the may is more formal and it's mostly used, okay? With, for example, with people that you respect or people that are older than you, instead of using cool, you can use may to represent more formality, wow. all right? Okay. In examples like this, for example, when you are asking a question or a, per a permission about something, it's better for you to use may instead of could. Okay. Mm -hmm. Why? Because it shows like kind of more respect. Me parece que está diciendo que también en cuestión del tiempo, ¿verdad? Exactly, right? May can be used in simple present and also to represent something in simple future. A possibility in the future. Okay. Yeah, yeah. As well as might. Might can be used the same way. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. Yes. You. There you go. Sara, where is Sara? Sara, do you got your example? Do you have your example, Sara? Did she disconnect or what? Boy, teacher, boy, teacher. Ah, Igual okay. me acabo de contar. Dile. <laughs> Pero eh, no sé si lo hice bien también. Uh, may uh -huh. you use, I use, use uh, your bicycle? May I use your bicycle? That's the way you have it? Uh -huh. No. Nah, okay, yes. That you're showing, okay, or representing a permission about something. Okay. There you go. Okay. All right, thank you. Now, let's move on. So let's see in what other aspects can we use may? Nah, okay, check this out. We were talking about asking for permission. Now this is a different form or the different, another different way. Nubia, help me out reading. This is like the other way around. Okay, May you to give permission, particularly when applied to you, mm -hmm. he, she, they, or a proper noun, uh -huh. to show that the speaker is allowing something to happen. Ah, okay, thank you, Nubia. This is the opposite of what we were doing, okay? En las preguntas anteriores que solíamos hacer, what did we used to do? Ah, pedir permiso, okay? We, in a somehow, request a permission. In here, what do we do? Acá no, this is the opposite. Acá es cuando damos un permiso de algo que pase, okay? It can be about people that, that are near from us or even uh, to your children, okay? Or somebody else, right? To allow another person to do something with your permission. Okay, so let's see some examples. Okay, let's see some examples. Uh, Natalie, help me out reading, please. You may go now. Now. Okay. Now. Thank you, you may Natalie. go now. Okay, very good. What does it mean? Probably you are giving permission to a person to live in a specific place, okay? In that case, you are allowing someone or something, okay, to do something else. In this case, to, to what kind of people you can say this example? You may go now. You can, you can say that to, I don't know, like to your children when they go to school, okay? You, you may go now. Se puede ir ahora. Okay, or se puede ir ya. There you go, o te puedes ir ya. So you see, they got different forms to interpret this one. But in that case, all of them are representing that you are giving a permission to someone else to do something. Okay, another example. Uh, let's see. Vanessa, help me out reading. Is students. Students? Uh -huh. Students may leave early. Early. Ah, okay. 
Ah, los estudiantes pueden irse temprano. Who's giving that permission? Probably the principal of the school or probably the teacher. Okay. So in that case, those people can give this type of permission. Okay. Let's suppose in your work, your boss tells you, ah, okay, Carla, you 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 may leave early today. Ah, okay, Carla puede irse temprano este día. So you see, in that case, who's given the permission? Ah, Carla's boss, right? In that case, her boss is the one who is giving the permission. Okay. Most of you, not all of you, but most of you have children. Okay. How do you give or how do you allow to your children a permission? Or what do you say or what do you do when you give a permission to your child or children? What do you generally say, Eric? Or what are like, the most common permissions that you generally give to your children? Por lo general. No, no sabría decir que sinceramente. Why not? Porque. Bueno, yo, yo soy bien accesible. Entonces, casi no ando, no ando condicionando ni nada. ¿no? Entonces, eh, eh, solo no ando, como le dijera, en ese aspecto, sino. Uh -huh. And let's, no suppose, let's, let's suppose your, your, your daughter tells you, okay? Hey, dad, look, uh, in, in the school there is a party and I want to go. May I go with a friend to the party? What would you say in that case? What would be the way how you will give her permission? Uh, you may go. And, and uh, I question the hour. Uh, a la que a la que saldrá realmente. Sí, no. so, so in that case, you when you give a permission, you do, you, you don't put an hour, an specific hour, for your daughter or anyone else to come to your house. Uh, What an interesting eh, 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 solamente les pregunto eh, si los van a ir a dejar, si los van a ir a dar o, o si quieren ah. que yo los vaya a traer, no hay problema. Okay. A veces han dado medianoche trayéndolas. <risa> ok. Sí. Así como, como, como la, la, los jóvenes de ahora, ese es el tipo de papá que todos quisieran tener. <risa> That's what do people uh, might say, right? <laughs> okay, well, that's nice, uh, uh, Eric. Hilmer, do you think the same way as Eric? Or oh, what is the form when you give permission to your children or people that work with you to do? Uh, when you give permission yeah. with condition uh, finally uh, your your homework uh -huh. How would you say? Um, or then you to tell me card or room? You know that? Bathroom. Uh -huh, the bedroom? Uh huh. And I need the condition. Uh huh. Uh huh. Ah, okay. Good. So I might say, uh, 
I'm gonna put an, an extra example in here for you to have an idea of what type of uh, permission should I give. Example, right? This is just an example. You may watch TV, okay? You may watch TV until 9 p.m., for example, right? You may watch TV until 9 p.m. What happened right after 9 p.m.? So they are not permitted to watch television, okay? That will be an extra example about when we give permission to do something, okay? Fatima, can you give me an example about this? To get permission, the way how you give permission for something to happen. I know, sir. All right, Fatima. Do you have boyfriend, Fatima? No, I don't have yes. a boyfriend. <laughs> okay, but, but let's, uh, what? <laughs> no, teacher, no. Okay, okay. Let's suppose you have a boyfriend, okay? And your yeah. boyfriend tells you, hey, Fatima, may I go to the party that is on the corner of my house? What would you say? May I go to the party that is on the corner with my friends? No, sir, teacher, I guess. Oh. One example that you might give is like, ah, okay, you may go, but you have to come, come home like early. That will be one ah. permission way, you see? Es como, es como dando un permiso, algo así. Yes, Fatima, yes. Es eh. cuando usted da un permiso sobre algo, ya sea a un miembro de su familia mm -hmm. o a alguien que trabaje con usted. Ok, that's the word. Ok, ok, Sería. You may go temprano, early. May you go may early. Go you may go early today. Nah, okay. You may go early today. Mm. Uh, yeah. <laughs> much today when I got there. Okay, but that's okay. There you go. Hmm. Let's see. Mrs. Rutia, can you give me one example in your case? Tenía del ejemplo anterior de este noticia que se me desconectó de repente y no le escuché nada ahorita que me acabo de volver que me conectó otra vez es que está preguntando entendí really sí Christ. y en el anterior ni me preguntó ah uh, yeah because I didn't see you connected I was checking claro que sí hasta hasta um, quién fue a Sara creo que pasó lista primero y después le, le consultó, le preguntó a ella. You know no, what's no, pues, Sara, fue alguien más. You know what's the thing? Eso es lo que pasa a veces cuando tenemos la cámara apagada, se me van todas las cuadrículas ah, al sí. final, al final, y los que tienen la oh, cámara encendida pasan arriba. All right, that's why ah, pero hoy va a ser video. peor. No, no yes. voy a poder conectarme con la cámara. Yeah, ah, guay. Porque mi teléfono se quebró, explotó la pantalla. What? <ríe> y ahorita estoy así como con uno bien. Desde de, de mi hija, el, en el que estoy. <ríe> ok, ok. You really use your phone, right? Como para sí. que se la haya explotado así, it's because you use it the most. Ok. Ok. <ríe> All right, there you go. Ok. We just pay attention, okay? And uh, right after that, we can we can continue with the examples that you were supposed to give, okay? Okay. Yeah, you go. Let me check. Let's continue with this. Just let me clear up this thing. And we can continue. Okay. Now, these kind of examples are the ones that you have in the book, okay? In this case, in the manual, right? about the uses of may. What it says in here, it says, using may, 
The first one, I may ask for a refund. Do you know people what is a refund? What is a refund? Reembolso. Reembolso in this case, there you go. The case is when you are asking about, about a reembolso, that's refund. I may ask for a refund, okay? It's like, we'll put it on reembolso. About what? Probably about, about a product that you have, okay? Probably about a product. There you go. Let's read the next one. Uh, Carla, help me read in the second example. You may buy at a different store. Nah, okay, good. In a case, you're showing a suggestion, but also a possibility about something to happen. It's like, you might buy at a different store. It's like, ah, puedes comprar en una tienda diferente, right? Okay, not necessarily in one very specific. Okay, we get an extra example. Uh, Sara, help me out reading. Uh, the, the may not provide a good service. Nah, okay. Service. Okay, very good, Sara. They may not provide a good service. How to create negatives? We just write down not right after may. In este caso, para formar los negativos, simplemente colocamos not después de may y el verbo principal. En este caso sería provide. Okay. Just to make negative statements. Okay. Like they may not provide a good service. Ellos no pueden proveer un buen servicio. Okay. That's the way how we translate. And then we get the last one. Uh, Vanessa, help me out reading. It may not reach your expectations. Expectation. Expectations. Ah, okay, there you go. Thank you. It says, it may not reach your expectations. What it says? Ah, probablemente no pueda alcanzar o lograr tus expectativas. There you go. What are you talking about in that case? Ah, we can be talking about a product that you buy, okay? Let's suppose you want to buy a cell phone, okay? But the cell phone that you want is not in the store, okay? And the person who is selling the cell phones probably tells you, hey, look, I got a different cell phone in here, okay? It has the, and that person tells you the specification, the characteristics and everything, but probably that cell phone may not reach your expectations, okay? Probablemente no tiene, okay? O no alcance sus expectativas. That's what it says in there, okay? It may not reach your expectations. It's like como no poder alcanzar las expectativas de algo, okay? En este caso puede ser de un producto, okay? That you buy. As an example, uh, Natalie, have you bought Hola. some? Have you have you bought something that may not reach your expectations? ¿Alguna vez ha comprado algo que no, no llegue a las expectativas que usted buscaba de algo? Muchas veces, teacher. What do you generally do in that case? ¿Cómo? What do you do in that case? ¿Qué hacen en esos casos? Mm -hmm. Si no puedo solucionar nada, no me queda otra más que arrepentirme, teacher. Ok. That's what pues you do. Ok, that's what you do. No queda de otra más que arrepentirse. And, and complain to yourself y quejarse usted misma. No, okay. Así es. Y decirme a mí misma por qué lo compré. Ah, ok. Ok, good. It's like my last thing I bought, I, I regret about my buy, my purchase in this case, because I bought something, a tool, supposedly to put air, air to the flat, to the tire, to the tire of my car. 
And you know what? It didn't work. And when I asked the person who sold it for a refund to give me the money back, he didn't answer anymore. So since that day, I, I, I didn't buy any other product online. Yeah, it got some disadvantages sometimes. Yeah, I mean, that sucks sometimes. But anyways, so these ones are related about the uses of May, right? Now, let's see the uses of might, but it's likely similar to May. Sometimes we can use them in a different context, but they mean the same. May and might is likely the same. This is a short definition that we have. And it says, listen, it is used to express possibility in a sentence. The main use that might has is to express possibility in a sentence. How come? Let's check some examples. Let's see, Ever, tell me a reading. Your phone might be in the kitchen. Nah, okay, very good. It's like, ah, your phone might be in the kitchen. Supongamos que usted ha perdido su celular y anda preguntando, ah, where did I put my cell phone? Alguien le puede decir, your cell phone or your phone might be in the kitchen. Ah, su, cel su celular podría estar en la cocina. What are you expressing in that case? Ahí estamos expresando que, estamos expresando posibilidad. Okay, why? Because you, you are kind of sure that the cell phone probably is in that place. In this case, the kitchen. Okay, so what we are expressing in there? Ah, we are expressing possibility. There you go. We got another example. Uh, Jonathan, help me a reading. Selling might be stuck in traffic. Ah, okay, thank you. So let's see. Helen might be stuck in traffic. Ah, Helen podría estar atascada en tráfico. There you go. That is a possibility. Why? Because probably that person is in, not in the house yet. Okay. There you go. So what are we expressing there? We are expressing possibility. And we got an extra example. Ah, uh, let's see, Stephanie, let's read this example. Ah, uh, ¿cuál es Stephanie? The last one. The last one. What? <laughs> My God, Stephanie. Ay, es que no se me ocurre, teacher. Ah, no, read the last example. Ah, perdón, yo escuché que de mi example. Eh, no, no, no he, yet. he might want a re, re, replacement. Replacement. A replacement. Uh, replacement for replacement for the damage. Uh, damaged. Damaged. Uh Aha. -huh. Product. Ah, okay. Very good. What does it mean? He might want a replacement for the damaged product. Ah, él podría querer un reemplazo por el producto dañado. So you see, in that case, like, you know, like to change the product, right? In that case, we are expressing a possibility about that to happen. Okay. Now, what is the main function of might in this case? Remember, it is basically to show a possibility about something were happening, okay? That's the main function of might in this case. Now, what do I really want for you people? I want you to represent something that is basically a possibility for you, okay? It can be about something in simple present or it can be about future. But I think you can mostly use simple present. Okay, let's give me a possibility about something using your own example. All right, let's read one. Let's write down one, okay? I will give you one minute for you to, to, to do it. Something that might be representing, listen up. Something that might be representing what? A possibility, a possibility about something. Let's do it. 
For example, I might not work tomorrow. That might be my example. In the case, I am representing something in the future that might not be happening. Okay, now let's give me one example about possibility for your own. When you have it, just let me know. Okay, and you can read it right after that. All right, so very few people are getting connected. Give me a second. Okay, as long as you finish the example, just let me know. Okay, Eric, go on. Your car might be clean in one hour. Hour, no? Okay. Hour. Very good. Your car might be clean in one hour. Very good. Did everyone else finish? Teacher, uh -huh. I can say I might go to the beach tomorrow. I might go to the beach tomorrow. Okay. When you are not sure if that trip is going to happen, you can use might. Uh -huh. Okay. Because you're representing a possibility. Okay. Very good. Thank you, Nubia. Teacher. Yes. Uh, she might have to pay. Uh, repeat again. She might have two pens. <laughs> okay, she might have two pens. That happens when you see the person only when like two different pens. Eso sucede cuando ve a la persona nada más usando dos tipos de, de, de jeans and that's it. Okay. Yeah. And, you might, and you might wonder yourself, right? She might have like just two pens. Okay. Finish teacher. Thank you, Carla. Okay. Okay. First, Hilmer and then Jonathan. Uh, and then Sara. <laughs> okay, teacher. Uh, I might need another liquor. Uh, uh, I might need another what? Liquor. Uh, what do you mean by liquor? You mean blender? Como podría necesitar otro liquor? In our Ah, liquor. Ah, you're talking about Okay, okay. No, no. Ah, to make you feel happy. Okay, Clara. Okay. Ah, sí, sí, ahora recuerdo porque a, a todos le brillan los ojos así cuando usted habla. And you give examples. Es mi trabajo. Es mi work. Really? That's your work? That's nice. Okay. <laughs> That's nice. Yeah. And supposedly, supposedly, when you're doing that type of job, you're testing, testing the, the, the things. Is that true? You gotta be testing that. Tiene que estarlos probando. Yes. Really? And you don't get and you don't cuando get drunk. Son, cuando son los lanzamientos, los nuevos o los vinos, porque también tenemos una línea de vinos. Ah, y ten, bueno. Tenemos clases también, tenemos clases de vino, o sea, sí, sí, sí. nos dan clases, nos capacitan con eso. Ok. Tenemos okay. constante capacitación. <risa> Constantes. <risa> ok, to train you, ok, ok, good. Si necesita ayuda, solo nos avisa, con gusto, nos podemos sacrificar. Así es. <risa> no, yo... Voluntarios. <risa> Sí, no, y si, y si, Voluntarios modo, para sí. probar el producto. Ah, sí, sí. Test the product. Ah, ok. Ah. Y si tenemos o sea, que faltar a la clase por ayudarle, ni modo, pues faltamos. Exacto. Ni modo, ahora yo sé. <ríe> Seguí, lo tomaré en cuenta. <ríe> oh my God. We're going to get drunk. <ríe> ok. Very good, Sara. Now, Hilmer, that's your example, and then Jonathan. Uh, my example is: it might rain this night. 
It might rain this night. This night. Oh, oh tonight. Oh, okay. tonight. Tonight. Yeah, tonight. There you go. It might rain tonight. Okay. Pero que lleva más porque ya inundó todo. Really? Ooh. My God, that's the problem. Ya no es Villa Venecia, es Villa Venecia, es San Salvador. Venecia, los canales de Venecia, los de Italia, pero en El Salvador. So when you when you go to work, you can go by 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 boat. <laughs> uh, okay. I mean that's the problem of living in San Salvador area, but downtown it might be in you know like close areas. Like when it rains, yeah, I mean it's flooded everywhere. Hay inundaciones por todos lados cuando llueve bastante. Yeah, I mean that 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 generally happens in there. Thanks God in here, but the place where I live, I mean, it can, it can be raining the whole day, the whole night, for one week, for one month. And in here, I mean, it's difficult to, to get a, 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 you know, like a fluid, an inundation. That would be difficult in here. Es que en San Miguel con el calor que hace la consume. En que yes, <laughs> lo <of> traga. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> That would be completely different in comparison to there. Yeah. Very good. So thank you, Hilmar. Now, Jonathan, let's read your example. Uh, your, your motorcycle but might, be, might, might be Chinese, but it's, but it's very fast. <laughs> Chinese. Uh, now, nah, mine, I think, is. <laughs> I don't even know. I think it comes from India. Your motorcycle? Yes, it comes from India. Ba Bajash, ba Bahaj, ba Bajash, yeah. Bajash, okay. That's where the pulsar comes from. Okay. <laughs> okay. In your case, the ones that you work with is uh, the, the, the company is Japanese, right? Yeah, Yamaha, Japanese. Yamaha is Japanese. Ah, no, okay. Yeah, that's pretty cool. No, okay, good, Jonathan. Thank you. Ah, let's see. Jennifer, did you get your example? I might play basketball every day. I might play basketball every day. Hmm, okay. There you go. You're requesting that a possibility. There you go. Uh, Mrs. Urrutia, you got your example? Stephanie, are you there? Stephanie. Okay, probably she's not there. Natalie, are you there? Uh, you miss a study next year. You, you mean you mean you might study? Uh, you might study study next year. Ah, okay, very good. Thank you, Natalie. There you go. Vanessa. She might not have free day tomorrow. Uh, okay, she might not have free day tomorrow. Okay, that is a negative form. There you go. Very good, Vanessa. Okay. There's a uh, possibility about something bad, okay, in the future. There you go. Ruth, do you have an example? I need to do this in an attendee. <laughs> Why not? I meet. You might. Well, I might. Mm -hmm. That's okay, Ruth. That's when you are representing something. It's likely similar to May, Ruth. It's likely similar. Viene siendo lo mismo que May, solo que might. Eh, ahorita estoy simplemente escuchando como posibilidad de algo que puede suceder. O no. Okay. For example, supongamos que usted ve que está nublado. Okay. Usted puede decir, it might rain tonight. Ah, podría llover esta noche. Okay, so in that case, what you're expressing. In este caso, ¿qué estamos expresando? 
a una posibilidad de algo que puede suceder. ¿Ok? Uh -huh. okay. So in that case, you're uh, expressing a possibility. ¿Ok? That's the reason uh -huh. how we can represent might. No sé qué un ejemplo podría ser un ejemplo mío. Ajá. I, I, I make... Um, I might... Make, uh -huh. I make... Um, casarme, ¿cómo se dice? I might get married. Eso, Mary. Uh -huh. I make a Mary. I might get married. I might get married. Ah, ok. Mm. What a good desire you're like having or talking about. El, un ejemplo nada más. Cruz, cruz. Sí, sí, así que ese. Why? I mean, getting married, it's, a, it's, it's the best decision that you might take, bro. Don't pay, uh, atten don't pay attention to Jorge or, or anyone else who might be talking. Teacher. En un par de años me cuenta, teacher. No le creo, ah. Exactly. I you know. Listen, I, I have to be talking good things, you know. I got it closer for, to me, you know. I mean, she can, you know, like throw a casserole to me. So I have to, to you know, be talking good things from her. <laughs> okay, good. Let's continue. Continuemos, no voy a hacer ahí, you know, the bad, the, the bad part. <laughs> Después va a decir que le va la energía otra vez. Ah, uh, come on, Eric. That was actually true. Okay, let's continue. Uh, Diana, are you there? You're the one that is missing. Yes. Okay, let's read your example. She may. She might. Come, ah, perdón. She might come to work early. Ah, okay, she might come to work early. That's a possibility for that person to come very early. Okay, but that won't happen. Está bien. Yes, Diana, thank you. Okay. Yes, that is representing, you know, something that is basically a possibility. And we got the last one here. They might buy a new car. Ah, ellos podrían comprar un carro nuevo, you see? That's to end up this series of examples. And then the one we got the ones from the manual. These ones are the ones that you have, and you can find them in the manual. Okay. Hmm. Sara, help me out reading the first example. She might want a refund on those units. Units. You come? Units. Units. Yes. Yeah. Ah, okay, good, thank you. Ever, let's read the second one. They might complain about the service. Ah, okay, very good, thank you. Ah, ellos podrían quejarse sobre, eh, por el servicio. Okay, in this case. There you go. Nubia, let's read the number three. Okay, yeah. we might ask to talk with a supervisor. No, okay, very good. So we might ask to talk with the supervisor, okay? Podríamos o pedir eh, poder hablar con el supervisor, okay? There you go. And we got the last example, okay? That is going to be read by Romeo. Let's read. We might ask to turn with the supervisor. Uh, no, the last one, Romeo, the last one. Ah, okay. He might not buy here again. Ah, okay, thank you. He might not buy here again. That's a negative possibility, okay? What does he say in Spanish? Ah, él no podría comprar acá de nuevo. Why that would happen? ¿Por qué podría pasar eso? Ah, for a bad service, right? That might be one possibility. Or because the person is dissatisfied. Ah, oh, porque la persona está insatisfecha. There you go. So that will be one of the reasons why that person may not buy in that case. Okay. If you compare the examples, they are basically similar when you use might and may. 
Why are they likely similar? Because I told you, might and may are used in the same way. Both of them are used to ask for permissions and also to ask for a request, okay? And also to express a possibility, okay? Now, what are we gonna do in this case? Let's check if you have understood this part. Okay, and just to check if you have understood this part, let's go to the manual. Okay, let's go to the manual and let's go to page in the manual. Let's go to page 20, give me a second. 23. Let's go to page 23 because 22, we're going to do it right after we finish on Wednesday. Let's go to this one. To this one over here. Okay. These are the examples that we have been reading before. Okay. This is the examples that I got in the presentation. So there's not the necessity to read them again. Okay. But let's continue with with this part. This is the part I do really want with to focus on. Why? Because we are about to do it. What are we gonna do here? It says, listen, create sentences using the words provided in may or might. Both ways are possible. Remember, may or might. Write a complement when needed. Ah, in Spanish. Vamos a crear oraciones usando las palabras que están acá, que ya, ya están proveídas, usando may or might. Listen up. Escribir un complemento, ok, de oración cuando se necesite, when needed. Example, tenemos acá. Number one. It says, listen. He, y tiene acá, not be satisfied. Ok, cuando tenemos B, B, acordémonos que está representado por am, is o are, dependiendo del pronombre. Ok, entonces acá, ¿cómo sería la oración ya? Utilizando may o might. Cualquiera de los dos puede ser usado en cada uno de ellos. Ah, ok. Vamos a comenzar con un subject. En este caso es he. He. In this case, what is the modal verb that you're going to use? May or might? Ah, that is up to you. En ese caso va a ser a uh, decisión de ustedes. Usar may or might. Why? Because both of them are similar. So let's use may. He may not. En este caso, como es negativo, tenemos not ahí. Podemos colocarla así. Y luego el verbo be lo vamos a colocar en forma base. ¿Por qué en forma base? Ah, porque tenemos un verbo auxiliar acá. Entonces ya no hay necesidad de que vaya acá en forma de am, is, o are. Ok. He may not be. Am I say. Satisfy. Y acá podemos agregar un pequeño complemento. ¿Por qué no estaría satisfecho? With the Product. Ah, él no está satisfecho con el producto. Ok, o él no puede estar satisfecho con el producto. There you go. So we got number one already done in here. Entonces acá ya tenemos la número uno. What are we going to do before we leave? Ah, let's complete this example. Ok, let's do them. Bien, entonces lo que vamos a hacer es, vamos a completar esta serie de ejemplos. Ok. Write exactly as the one I gave it to you. Justo como la he puesto ahí. Ok. Let's do the other ones. En este caso, pueden usar may y pueden usar might. In each one of them. And it is possible. So let me know when you finish. Let's do it. And if you need help, let me know. Si necesitamos ayuda, por favor, me lo hacen saber. Just let's keep going. Okay. 
Just let me know if you have any, any questions with that. Just let me know when you finish. How many questions can we find in here? Just let me check. I mean, we don't have any questions. Ah, but we've got six examples. There are gonna be six. So you're gonna be doing five of them. Okay, in which exercise are you in? Por cual vamos? Four, four ahead. Okay, good. I finished, teacher. Ah, okay. Thank you, Nubia. <coughs> so let's wait for the other ones. All right, just to confirm, Stephanie, Jennifer, Natalie, Romeo, Ruth, Hilmer, and uh, Diana, and including Jonathan, are you there? Yes, I'm here. Yes. Hola. Ah, okay. All right, there you go. Yeah, it's because I didn't, I, I, I don't see you people. All right, do you finish? Besides Nubia, who else finished? Okay. <clears throat> number two. Uh -huh, let's read number two. Nubia. Okay. The guarantee might be longer. Let me check. Let me get expanded in here. Okay. The warranty is that might, right? Mm -hmm. Might. Uh huh. Be longer. Okay. If you hear people have may, no problem, okay? It's basically the same. If you got the guarantee may be longer, it's the same as this one. The guarantee might be longer, okay? Good. ¿Le teníamos así, tal y como esta? Eh, no, teacher. Yeah. Eh, yo le agregué algo más. No sé si estará correcto. Let's read. Uh, the warranty of the computer might be longer. Yeah, I mean, you can include that one as a complement. Very good. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you. This is still correct. Very good. Nice. There you go. Now, let's read number three. Uh, in this case, Eric, help me out with number three. Sorry, sorry. Uh, number three. 
uh, the cleaner ser service might not be excellent. Ah, you put the cleaner. Yes, teacher. Okay, it would be this one, the cleaning service, service may, may not be excellent. Okay. There you go. Entonces, en este caso, Eric le ha agregado básicamente cleaning. The cleaning service may not be excellent. Ahí son, oh, uh, es a opción de ustedes si le agregan un complemento, ok, like this, or not. Ok. Why do I say that? Because if you have this, the service, listen up, the service no, uh, may not be excellent, will be cool too. Estaría bien también, ok. Estaría correcto. <coughs> Will be correct. Okay. Do you have it different? Alguien que lo tenga diferente a como lo tiene Eric? I put in different. What do you write down there, Ever? Uh, I write the restaurant service may not be excellent, but yeah. the food is good. Uh huh. Okay. There you go. Okay, that is having a different option, right? Very good, Evan. There you go. Now, Jennifer, let help me out uh, reading number four. How do you have number four? Jennifer, are you there? Okay, I think she's not there. Vanessa, have me already. What do you okay. have? Okay, number four. Uh -huh. Do my comment is excellent. You might recommend. Recommend is. Uh, excellent. Mm. It's excellent. Yes. Yeah. Like this? Yes. Ah, ok. All right. En este caso, para que no sea así como muy, 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 eh, digamos, falta de algún complemento, podemos agregarle algo corto a esta oración. How come? What would, can be added in here? You might recommend. Tú puedes recomendar o podrías recomendar qué. You might recommend. Podría ser you would might recommend is excellent. Nah, ok. Podría ser de esa manera. And also it can be this way. You might recommend. <coughs> this food. Is excellent. Ah, puede ir de esta otra manera también. Ok. Significa lo mismo que usted dijo, solo con diferente estructura. Mm -hmm. right. In different positions. Ok. Thank you, Vanessa. Sí, sir, yo tengo otra. Ok. Uh -huh. How do you have it? You might re recommend. Eh... Ah, ya me olvidó. Ya lo tenía. You, <laughs> might, you might recommend your, your friend for work. Nah, ok. And you might say, it's excellent, right? Very good. Thank you, Jonathan. That's another way uh -huh, to, to, to do that example, right? There you go. So let's read number five. Who's going to help me out with number five? Let's see. Carla, help me out doing number five, please. Carla. Hi, teacher. Hi. Can you help me out uh, reading number five? Uh, you might be wider be being a hurry. Uh, okay, let's start. 
Primero que nada, ¿sabemos qué significa waiter? Waiters. Waiters. Waiters significa mesero. Oh, ah, ok. Ok. The waiter, el mesero. Ajá. The waiter. Ajá, ese sería al principio, right? Ah, ok. Entonces sería, sería the waiter, waiter maybe maybe in a hurry. Yes. Ok. Simpler as okay. that. En este tipo de, de oraciones, sí, uh, podemos dejarlo de esta manera si, si, si queremos y, y está transmitiendo un mensaje un tanto claro, ¿ok? Mm -hmm. Sin necesidad de un complemento. Pero si you add a complement, it's up to you. Pero si agregamos un complemento, ya ahí es decisión. No sé si alguien más agregó algún tipo de complemento o you put it this way. Yes. Yes, teacher. The this complement, ah, this complement okay. for the for the uh, number five is because he is alone. No, nah, okay, very good. Because he is alone. Okay, that can be. Because he is alone. Okay, very good. Now, let's finish with the last one. Okay, let me check. Who can help me out with the last one? Let's go to the... Hilmar, help me out with the last one. Uh, Amanda makes no use washing machine. Let me check what happened. Amanda. You said may, right? Yes. No use. May not use. Uh-huh. Washing. Machine. The washing machine? This way? Yes. Ah, okay. Amanda may not use the washing machine. Okay. Amanda no puede usar ah, la lavadora. Okay. There you go. What is that representing? Not giving information. Aquí lo que está representando es que no se le da permiso o que ella definitivamente no puede usar la lavadora. That is representing in that case. So both ways can be interpreted. Okay. Alguien más que la tenga diferente? Or you have it this way? Alguien que tenga un complemento diferente? I am using the other complement. Aha. Uh -huh. What do you have? Uh, only change the what's machine for uh -huh. This work machine for the this teacher. Ah, okay. Uh -huh. esta, it can be esta yes. camiseta. The, the church. There you go. Very good. Entonces ahí ustedes son libres de colocar en complemento que mejor quede con el desarrollo de la, de la oración, right? Amanda may not use the washing machine. Amanda may not use the teacher. Amanda may not use the what? The cell phone in class. Okay. Yeah, those are like, you know, Compliments that help you to have the sentence more specific. Okay? That's what it goes. Okay. In here, uh, right up to here, people, do you have any question with this structure? Hasta acá, tenemos alguna pregunta con esta estructura? Con el uso de may and might? Something that might not be clear for you? Algo que no esté del todo claro? You can ask right now. Before we leave, antes de irnos. You refresh the, this topic tomorrow, please. <laughs> yeah, I will. I got to. Today, today maybe I understand because uh, tomorrow is the last information. <laughs> Might be last. Huh. Might be last information. <laughs> no, no problem. Tomorrow I'm going to be very specific example so we can okay. practice them. And that will be kind of easier for us to understand. Eddie, okay. Eddie, were you about to say something? It's the age, le iba a decir a Jorge. Es la edad que se no olvide. Sí, sí, ya a las, a las, 
8 de la mañana he terminado que hiciste ayer. <laughs> yeah, I mean, that happens sometimes. That happens. Yes. Eso suele pasar. Lo bueno es cuando llegas a la casa, ¿verdad? Que le decís, yo no te recuerdo, no sé quién sos, le decís a la, a la, a la señora. <laughs> y lo espera con una cacerola y dice, ah, ya vamos a recordar. <laughs> No, no, thank you. Lo que pasa es que los traumas cuesta que se olviden. Ah, bueno, ok. Ya, me es fácil. And Eddie has a lot of traumas, right? Traumas. Ok, good. Let's, let's keep it that way. Y seguimos contando. Let's keep it that way. Yes, yes. Ok. No questions, people. There you go. If you don't have any other questions, si no tenemos preguntas que añadir, entonces, I'm going to pass the attendance list before we go. Give me a second. Let me check. Hey, we got a few, very few people in here tonight. So, Ana Claribel, Director Wap, Ana Maria, no, mm, Carlos Avenir, no, Eric Guillermo. Present teacher. Okay, good. Ever de Jesus. Present. Ok. Fátima Alejandra. Present. All right. Gilmar Cruz. Present. Ok. Jonathan Alexander. Jonathan, are you there? All right. Jonathan, today uh, you're going to have your 10 minutes feedback, ok ahora eh, nos vamos a quedar después de clase Jonathan for 10 minutes feedback, ok para los 10 minutos de feedback, today is your day uh, I think I think something is happening with your audio Jonathan that I cannot listen to you A little bit. Casi no se le escucha. Se alcanza a escuchar como que dijo que si lo podía para mañana pasar o para otro día. Así ¿Es that correct, bien. Jonathan? Está lloviendo. Nah, casi no me escucha porque está lloviendo. Ya, yeah, porque definitivamente sí no lo escucho. Ok, let's do something, Jonathan. Let's do it tomorrow. You, let's do it tomorrow. Ok. And today, ok. Lo va a hacer Jorge. A Jorge le tocaba mañana. So Jorge is going to take the 10-minute feedback, ok? And you do it tomorrow, ok? There you go, Jonathan. And Jorge is okay. like, ah, ok. No me pasa por hablar. No, de hecho, eh, eh, es que no, okay. le toca okay. a usted mañana, ok? Yes, no yeah, yes, it's correct. Vamos no corriendo, problem. ok? No problem. All right, thank you. So let's see, let's continue with the tennis list. Jorge Elvir. Uh -huh. Present. All right, Carla Benacer. Yeah. Present, teacher. Okay, good. Margarita yes, Hernandez sí, is not here. Maritza Alcira is not here. Natalie Vanessa. Present. Okay, Romeo Alexis. Present. Okay, good. Rosa del Carmen is not here. Let's see, Ruth, Joanna. Present teacher. Okay, good. Sara Carolina. Present teacher. Okay, nice. Stephanie Lisset. I mean, that's weird. Stephanie. Present. Ah, you're there. Esta cosa casi tú me agarra el el audio. Ah, okay. A veces sí, a veces no. Okay. Ok, es que no, no problema. Que yo entiendan. Ok, no problem, Stephanie. Vanessa Odet. Present. Ok, William. Uh, uh, I think he has problem with the internet. Roxana is not here. Nubia Zulema. Present, teacher. Ok, good. Jennifer Noemi. Yes, Jennifer. Jennifer, are you there? Okay, I see. I think she's she's not there. And the last one, Diana Gabriela. Present. Nah, 
Ok, very good. Ah, hoy sí hizo falta el double, el double present. <ríe> ok, people. Let's ya have. se durmió. Ah, con razón, ya se fundió. <ríe> ok, there we go. Muy bien, entonces, people, um, that's it for today's class. So let's see you tomorrow, ok, in another video conference. Have a wonderful night, ok. Bye-bye. Bye-bye, good night. Bye-bye. Eric. Bye bye guys. I'm gonna stall you Good now, night. Eric. Bye bye. Uh, it's, it's my new dog. It's a it's a girl. Ah, okay. Eh, es supuestamente era una una eh, French. Ajá. Este, y pero yo creo que tuvo que ver uh, ahí una una colada de algún de un como que llama de <laughs> mix. ¿Cómo se llama? Un mix. De un, un chihuahua, porque. <risa> chihuahua es, mix. Es tremenda. Ahí me estaba esperando que la chineara. Por eso la subí. Y aquí está mordiéndome. Ah, así es. Así, tremenda. Así se ve. Good night. Se ve. Good night, Eric. Bye bye. Good see you tomorrow. Man, see you tomorrow. Ok. Good. So, let's see. I'm going to put her in the you waiting know, room. Is Sleep. <laughs> yeah, right after this, let's let's go to sleep, man. Okay, yeah. we're gonna have just a minute, Jorge, just yes, to man. clarify any idea or any doubt that you might have not clear, okay, from this class and the previous classes. Okay. For the moment, no. Uh, maybe understand in and in a no all, but. Mm -hmm. Try to to let to practice uh, is the part uh, difficulty mm -hmm. for for, mm -hmm. for me uh, and maintaining the mantener una the keep, conversation keep, keep uh, the conversation keep, keep the conversation uh, in focus in the one topic mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Is, is is the problem but the Understand the, the class is is very nice. Is uh, uh, congratulations, teacher, because the you have the uh, okay. All right. Yeah, man. I I try to do my best just for you to understand in a better way. Mm -hmm. Okay. Thank you. Yeah, and, the next. and the in the in this class, uh, maybe the problem is for me the 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 answer and maybe uh, the or the request sorry the uh, the responses ah uh, basically okay. the answers from answers. the questions okay yes ah okay uh huh yeah I mean sometimes you 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 got some lack in there in that case but as you said like with practice you can get that. You can improve that. Okay, you can even get better with with practice. You know, this is all. Poco a poco se va ganando con práctica. Okay. Okay. That's okay. the main the main thing that that you gotta keep doing. You no, know, like practicing and practicing just to get that. Pero es igual. Ah, ahora pues digamos que no lo puse trabajar así en en like you know in pairs. Pero sí, a mañana vamos a comenzar ya ya con el otro tema que que veamos. Sí, vamos a comenzar más prácticas, así de manera un tanto personalizadas, como yeah, las que hemos venido haciendo. Sí, es una buena opción para practicar, porque la velocidad y la, no sé, por ejemplo, otro 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 say the practice for other people and maybe in all in the class uh, because uh, this for uh, they share the, the, the miedo, no? This is, is, is a fear. Yeah, it's the fear that you have, yeah, might disappear. Actually, yeah. that's true. That's true. When you work in a small groups, like working in three, working in pairs, you generally talk more, you practice mm. more. Why? Because you are just you uh, with an extra person. 
okay? And okay. when you are probably in the main, the main section, since you got a lot of people there, like just watching you and listening to you, probably you might feel like kind of afraid to speak too much. Okay. Uh, but, like, yeah, but that's, that's one, one good way that we got, I mean, to practice in sections. Uh -huh. okay. It's probably Perfect. something about the workbook, something about, you know, like the activities, probably to practice a conversation. That's this point, this point, the problem. conversation, the, the conversation is uh, the line, the conversation, because the, in the moment you thinking, okay, uh, this tip, this topic is the, maybe the family or uh -huh. the work on the, I don't know, busy in the other place. Mm -hmm. But the, the answer, the other people for me, I, Maybe, uh, I don't know, say, I don't know, say, and in ESA, it, this part is, is the problem. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Now nah, I got you. Right. In, in, my, in my family, in my family, my, my ma living, living, living uh, last year, maybe uh, 10 years in the USA, uh -huh. and she talked little the uh, English. A little bit of and, English. Uh-huh. Yes. And uh today my say me uh, you practice oh, nine yeah. uh -huh. is is good means uh, you do English is 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 increasing uh -huh. is yeah no uh -huh. uh, is increasing uh -huh. um maybe the using the videos and YouTube and mm -hmm. caption only mm -hmm. Uh, in only music, uh, the the old school for me. Ah, yeah, I mean the old school music. Uh, it's, it's, it's nice. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, thank you so much for the passing, patience. Uh, patience. Patience. Yes. Yeah. Uh -huh. Sorry. Patience. No, <laughs> no problem. With us is the is is the. No, I mean that's the idea. I mean you know like to be patient with you because in that way. I can teach you like kind of a slow how to do the things and you can learn in a better way. And you can, you know, learn the structures, learn vocabulary, put the vocabulary into practice. That is the way. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, thank you. Really, really, thank you. Yeah, I mean, that's, that's the way. And the, and the topic, say to, today, uh, you mm -hmm. share, share me another, um, I don't know, it's the another side, YouTube video, or maybe a website and for the practice, I don't know. Uh-huh, uh-huh. That would be like an extra one? Yeah. Yeah, I will, I will, I will. Look, there is actually- In my, in my, in my, in my free times, uh, uh, in the office practice the, the <laughs> uh, exercise uh -huh. in one or two hours and not total total free <laughs> uh -huh. uh -huh. uh, uh, I relax and the you take it you two and say the the lesson or the sample uh -huh. uh, mm -hmm. only only practice the listen uh-huh uh -huh. but a better practice you get that one. I, I already sent it to you through the chat, a name from a channel in which you can practice just by listening to the videos. Oh, okay. That's like an extra practice. In that case, Perfect. it is practicing pronunciation, uh, the difference between one word and another word. Look for that channel. It, it's pretty interesting. Tengo ese problema, verdad, que... Quiero decir una palabra y me voy por otra. <laughs> yeah, I mean, sometimes it's, it's really good to understand the pronunciation because with the pronunciation, I mean, you, you don't get lost. Oh, mm -hmm. okay. Thank yeah. you. So In this look, moment, cop, uh, copy the, the, the... Yeah, I mean, copy that and, and look for the channel. That will be kind of interesting. That will help you to practice pronunciation, to learn vocabulary and the structures. Because uh, uh, when I was learning, you know, like when I was uh, learning English, I used that channel too. Okay, and this is is video or it's on YouTube. It's on YouTube. Okay, okay, yeah, okay. 
Yeah, man, that one, that one is pretty cool. Give it to China. Okay. Yeah, man, that's I pretty got cool. it. I got it. That's pretty, that, that's like an extra practice, okay? Like, okay. you know, you got to practice in the platform, you got to practice in the discussion section, and you can have that extra <laughs> practice for, you know, like... Uh, you 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 only uh, only one practice in the in the platform or two practice uh, right actually, now actually uh, actually you got let me see you see now uh, you got like three practices three practices okay like <laughs> Sorry. I know I know working in, in this <laughs> <laughs> you haven't completed them no I mean okay. let, let's complete them okay if you have free time tomorrow tonight, yes. let's do it. Okay, tomorrow. let's complete them. Okay, tomorrow I practice this and send the the other exercise. You send send you tell us uh, the last week. Ah, yeah, I mean, uh -huh. after the last week, the one I sent uh -huh. you last week. Uh huh. Okay. okay. Yes. There you go. So, I don't know if okay. you have any other question for him. No, teacher. Uh, only thank you so much for the opportunity. Uh, you're very, very nice. Nah, okay. So thank you for that, Jorge, and see you tomorrow, okay? Okay, teacher. Have see a wonderful tomorrow. night. Bye-bye. You, you too. You too. Okay, bye-bye.